Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I want to take some time to explain three things that you can do to almost any photo that usually make it look better in your editing process. So these three things are things that can make any photo look better. And the first thing is a vignette. Now you can find this under Filter, Lens Correction, and then head over to the custom tab and you should see the vignette box now I'm not saying to add a vignette to every single photo that you have but most of the time in my opinion I think a vignette adds to the focus of the photo and is usually always nice so if you have a photo with a skyline like so and a focus near the middle then I would go ahead and try out a vignette and see if you like it. So if you slide the slider here you can just slide it to the left and it should darken it a bit and you see that a vignette is this dark little shadow around the edges and you can make it as intense or light as you want. You can move the midpoint over but as a general rule I think a vignette usually always enhances a photo. Of course you can use your own judgment and see what looks good. So once you have that, you can go ahead and click OK. And the next thing that I think you could add to every photo to enhance it is a little bit of color correction. Now there's lots of ways you can do this in Photoshop, but it's usually under Image, Adjustments, and it's, you can use Color Balance or Curves or Levels. I have lots of other tutorials on this but for this specific tutorial I'm going to use color balance now color balance gives you three options the shadows midtones and highlights and in each one you can adjust the red green blue so if we start at the midtones here we can just give the photo a little bit of a more dramatic color to influence it in the mood that we want so we can give the photo the mood that we want. Usually most of the strong color can be brought out with the highlights and the shadows. So if I bring out a little bit of yellow and red in the shadows, or in the highlights I mean, then I should go with the complementary colors in the shadows, like the blue. So as you can see, if I brought up the yellow here, then when I bring up the blues and the shadows it adds a nice complementary color boost and really gives your photo that nice contrast that it was missing before so you can see before after now the last thing that a photo could use and the third thing is a little bit of contrast so you can head over to image adjustments brightness contrast and just simply turn up the contrast a bit. You can even turn down the brightness or turn up the brightness. Now this photo doesn't need too much, but a little bit can go a long way. Of course, there's you can also use levels or curves to do any of these adjustments. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use these more simple tools. So if we look at our before picture here file revert and then look at our after you can see that these three things really did help to enhance the image and from editing lots of photos in my personal opinion these three things are pretty universal and you can use them on most every photo almost every photo of course you can get as experimental with the color adjustments and and brightness and contrast adjustments as you like you can try to go for vignette effects or other kind of color effects and these aren't the only three things you can do to every photo you can also sharpen or add other manipulations but as a basic rule if you just want a little bit of enhancing to your photo these three things really help 
and I usually do them in that order. Now if you want to edit non-destructively everything that I just did there like image adjustments you could have just went to layer new adjustment layer so instead of applying the color balance right on top you can apply it in a separate layer that way you can always edit it so that is the end of this tutorial hopefully you liked the tips I shared and give me your own thoughts and opinions on what you think every photo could use of course every photo is different and it, it all depends on your eyes so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time